Howdy folks, I'm going to give you an update on my gardening here. Um, I got my whole May fountain back going again. One in the front, uh, I can't find the pieces for, for it. I, I need to start putting stuff in boxes and marking the boxes what they're for. Anyway, this is uh, one of my homemade fountains here. I did order a solar bird, bird bath too. It should be here in a few weeks. And this is the lettuce that got stringy in the greenhouse because it had the gerbil lights too high. These are the letters I planted outside here. I don't know if you can see that here. Planted in this container here. It has a little cup thing at the bottom here where water, if you get full of water, will drain out here. This is my merry go here. I'm going to go ahead and plant that today. Uh, this day lily, I'm getting tired of looking at that. I'll go ahead and plant that. Yeah, these are my milkweeds plants here. I'm going to plant those today, too. I don't know where yet. These things. Not really dry yet. I don't know why it turned brown. But anyway, uh, some of these seeds came from eBay. The other seeds came from behind the yard here by the ditch. I wasn't sure, if, you know, if I can get those seeds started. So I ordered some from eBay. And sure enough, they did grow. Now let's go down here. Amish way of growing tomatoes. How they're doing oh, these are my grape tomatoes this is my beef steak I don't know if that's gonna make it this one in the corner there okay let's see hello penal peppers this small I should have bought a big pipe they don't pay no seven dollars for one six seven dollars here's another one here still early yet grounds pretty dry I might have to go ahead and water. We're supposed to get rain in the next few days, uh, for the next four days. There's another jalapeno plant. I lost one of them. I don't know where I planted it at. I don't think that's it. Could be. We'll see. And let's go up here, but uh, uh, the above the garden. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know if you can see that with my shadow. Oh, there's a couple of them here. See those bugs there? Those are uh, cicadas. That one there is still alive there. This one here is empty shell. This one down here is the empty shell. And they won't hurt your plants. Matter of fact, they're full of uh, nitrogen. Once they die off and they go in the ground, They'll fill the ground with 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 uh, nitrogen. I done a study on them. Sunchokes, I cut them off. Got some roses. There, I, I got de start deadheading them. There's some more about to bloom here. There's more roses. And of course, some more roses. And let's go over here to my barrel garden. Oh, they say the uh, cicadas too. Uh, birds like eating them. It'll draw more uh, birds toward you, your place. We've been eating a lot of lettuce. I'm going to have to start doing some more trimming on these. I'm thinking about potting them. Because it's going to get hot during the summer. They're going to start boating. So, I need to do something with that. These are my pink girl tomatoes. Pull that out. Can't get it back in. I need a Doing some stuff to these. Oh, look at the garden. Full of uh, cicada shells. Bunch of them. That's all right. Those just die out in there. Turn the, uh, give this uh, garden some, some uh, nitrogen. There's quite a few of them in there. 
right after I started seeing them, we had a big, heavy rainfall. There's another cicada down there. I need to prop these up. I really do. Okay, bell peppers. These are the early girls here. The other one was pink girls, I think it was. These are the early girls. I need to start doing some trimming on these. Oh, something been digging in my garden. Look at that. I might lose that last watermelon there. I lost three already. Yeah, I'm putting a troll cam out here. That stem got broken. That is a shame. I was going to have some watermelon, I thought. Oh, well. And let's go back here. Okay, here we are here. I need to uh, start trimming this poison ivory out of here. I didn't want to do it earlier because I couldn't see any milk weed plants. Well, they're coming back over here. This is where I got the, my local seeds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven plants. No, ten plants. There's a uh, cicada on one of them, too. Once the other ones start growing, It'll take about two years before they de develop de develop flowers. You can see the flowers there. We can see with this camera, and I can't get too close to this poison ivory. But last summer, it was so hot and dry, my water hose wouldn't reach over here, so uh, they they just died off. That's why I, I want to bring, put some in the yard. Some uh, uh, milkweeds. I'm thinking maybe put some over here by this creek edge here. And mark them so I don't destroy them when I cut down the weeds. But I really need to get rid of that poison ivy there. Now let's go over here. Okay, these are the currants plants. They're growing pretty well. Strawberry plants. One of my granddaughters over yesterday, I gave her a little strawberry. She said, sour. <laughs> I gave one to my puppy today. I got another strawberry about to pop up there. Two of them. And we'll see what these flowers look like when they start growing. Yeah. We're going to get some more strawberries here. There's some more flower hostas and stuff. And of course the grapes. And, oh yeah, our plum tree here. Gonna have a lot of plums. This one here is starting to turn a little purple. I don't know if you can tell or not. They're really small right now though. And somewhere back here we should have a jewel weed growing up. I saved some seeds, but I didn't start them yet, so I'll probably do that next next year. I saw hummingbirds trying to get nectar from the jewelries. So. Yeah, let's see what else we got here. This apple tree keeps getting this, this rust disease. Not for sure to do with that yet. Well, I hope you like what we have so far and keep watching. See how my garden goes. 
It can go good, it can go bad. Until next time, later.